Hey everyone, it's Bailey. So today we're going to be doing something that I never anticipated doing on my channel before. And that is trying on denim shorts. Now, me and denim shorts, we've had quite the relationship. They've never been my bottom of choice. Whenever I think of them, I just think of like short, uncomfortable, not a lot of gift, tight, like ugh, muffin top. You know, that's that's been my experience. And I'm pretty sure the last time I bought a pair of denim shorts was back in like 2014, 2013 when I was still in college. So it's been a second. But I thought this video would be helpful to see how denim shorts compare across the board. Different brands, different prices, different sizing, different cuts. And see what is most comfortable and has, you know, the best fit for me. Now for me, when I'm looking for a pair of denim shorts or just shorts in general, I don't want them to be too short. I don't want them to be too tight. I want to feel like I can still move around in them. And I don't really want to have muffin tops. If I could avoid it, that's what I prefer. So with all that in mind, let's go ahead and head to our first stop, which is The Loft. So I decided to go to The Loft first because, well, it's the store I park closest to at the mall. And it's definitely one of my personal favorite stores to shop at because number one, they're always having good sale. And number two, they have good sizing. So they have plus size, petite, they have maternity, and they have, you know, standard. They have everything. So I really like that. And when I walked into this loft, I was kind of disappointed in the lack of variety that they had for denim shorts. They had three styles, if I remember correctly. They had a style that was more of a light wash. They had a style that was more of like a Bermuda cut and then the style that I ultimately ended up trying on. Oh and they also had this other pair that I was interested in because they were elastic waist but really these were like adult denim shorts or no Daisy Dukes, no high distressing, none of that here. So I first tried on the medium wash and these I actually quite liked. So overall I feel like these were very true to size. There's no muffin top going on in the waistband. There's no gapping going on. They fit good in the thighs and I felt like I was able to comfortably move around but I didn't feel like they'd stretch out to the point where they'd be baggy so that was really good because sometimes you have to watch out with denim like that and the other thing I noticed is how stretchy these were these are not your denim shorts from the early 2000s these have some stretch they have some give and it really does make them so so comfortable and I also like the length of these because they weren't too short where they were like scandalous but they weren't too long where they were too like kind of awkward modest on me because I am shorter so sometimes if I have a short with a longer inseam it just kind of smushes me down even more. So overall I really like the shorts and they retail for $54.50 and they were 40% off. And then the other pair of shorts we tried on was the one with the elastic waist and it had a little rope tie in the front. These looked more or less like a paper bag on my behind. It was not a really good look. Um, it just it wasn't doing anything for me. It was very comfortable, don't get me wrong, because it was more of like a, not so much of a denim material, but more like a chambray material. So it was very, very light but it just it wasn't hugging anything and just wasn't doing me any favors and those were more expensive they were $59.50 so I actually did end up picking up the first pair from the loft so here they are I like the little distress I like the little cuff and I just thought that they looked really cute and it really did start out the day on the right foot. Okay, let's move on to the next store, which is American Eagle. And I remember this was like the place to go shopping when I was in high school for denim. I think it still is, um, but they definitely had a ton a variety tons of different colors different cuts different like stretchiness however they were all very very short which definitely fits their younger vibe but if you're somebody who is looking for something a little not modest but that's gonna cover your butt Mm, you might need to be wary of these. So when I walked in, I saw this table full of their new, they're called the Next Level Stretch High Waist Shorts, and I decided those were the shorts for me because high waisted, high level stretch, yes please. So naturally, I first went with the dark wash with the little cuff because I like dark wash. I find that to be the most flattering, and then I like the little cuff because it kind of looks like the shorts I just got. Now they unfortunately only had a size eight; they didn't have anything bigger. So I decided to also pick up another style from the same line that was more distressed, but they had an eight and a ten, just so we can see some options. So I went ahead and tried on the first pair, the size eight, with the minimal distressing, and 
they were a wee bit tight and they were a wee bit short. So I definitely didn't feel the most comfortable and I would have wanted to size up, uh, but I unfortunately didn't have the opportunity. So then I tried on the way more distressed pair. First I tried on the size 8 just to see because, you know, different styles can be cut slightly differently. You just never know if even though they are on the same table and they're from the same, you know, cut family, they could still fit a little bit different, but they were still a little bit tight. We're getting a little bit of muffin top. It was a little tight in the thighs. So I decided to try on the size 10 and those definitely fit way better. I was way more comfortable, but they were still very, very short. And not to mention the whole just super distressed look isn't really my style. So I decided to pass on both of these just because of the style and how short they were. Um, pricing wise, the first pair with the minimal distressing, it was $39.95. And then the pair with the more distressing was $54.95. So there's definitely a big price difference. And I know that they were having a buy one get one half off sale. And I feel like they always have sales on their denim, but for me, and what I was looking for, both of these were no go. Okay, moving on to our third store, I went to Express, because I feel like Express is having a moment. I feel like it's a store where people in their mid to late 20s go to get both like work stuff and fun stuff that's like appropriate. And when I walked in Express, there again wasn't a ton of variety. There was one column of shorts that had low rise jeans and then we quickly went away from those because no thank you. And then there was another column that had high waisted jeans. So that was where I went. And with this store, they didn't have a ton of sizes out. Luckily, they did have a size 8 for me to try. So I grabbed one and went into the dressing room. I will say, I really liked how these fit. They were very, very comfortable. They were more of a looser fit, so a looser size 8, which I like. And they weren't too tight in the thighs. Really, these these felt really, really good. But unfortunately, they weren't on sale or anything, and they retail for $54.90. And I'm definitely one of those people when it comes to clothes shopping. I know it's going to be on sale next week, so why would I buy it full price unless I really, really, really needed it at the moment? But... With that said, they did fit really, really good. But then when I left the dressing room, one of the sales associates, I guess, didn't know I was in there. And so when I came out, she just kind of looked at me and was just like, are you getting that? And I said, no. <laughs> Bye. It was very, very awkward, but there was also a dog in the store. So overall, the store vibe was kind of like, eh, but the shorts did fit really, really well, and they were definitely a comfortable size 8. Now moving on to the fourth store that I went to. This was a big wild card. This store made me nervous to walk into, but I did it. And that's Hollister. Now, I haven't been into a Hollister literally since high school. And I remember, like, I vividly remember going to Hollister with my mom for the first time, trying on jeans, and I hated it because they were so low rise and they were so tight. It was just not a good situation. But we faced our fears and we went in. And first of all, I was very surprised because it's not as dark as it used to be. So you could actually see. It didn't smell as bad as it used to. The music was still quite loud. But overall, it was better. And when I first walked in, there were two tables full of denim shorts. So they had tons and tons of variety. And another thing I noticed immediately was their sizing was a little different. So they went in odd numbers. So that means they do junior sizing, but they also had the waist measurements on their tags. So you could still go off of that. So in the store, I was looking for a size nine. Now, apparently that was a very popular size in the store because there was literally one pair of a high-waisted size nine and it was a light wash and I hate the light wash, but I decided we'll grab it anyways. And then I went ahead and grabbed a size 11 which would you know equate to size 10 um, and a dark wash and went to try it on and actually was pleasantly surprised so of course first I tried on the light wash and they fit okay there was really really good stretch and it's very very lightweight fabric so it felt very comfortable but it was a little too tight in the thighs and a little too tight in the waist so it's just like it would have been okay I think it would have stretched out but it was so like a little, little snug. So then I went ahead and tried on the 11 and the dark wash and actually really liked it. Like, I really like these. These are so comfortable. I think because the denim is so thin, it has so much stretch. It feels just so not confining. And then going the size up, it just made it really comfortable in the thighs and the waist. And I felt very, very good. And I also like the fact that these didn't have all the like stuff on the pockets. They're just a nice, simple pair of shorts. 
So I decided to get them. Now the first pair I tried, the light wash retailed for $44.95 and then the darker pair that I ended up picking up retailed for $39.95 but they were on sale for $29 and then we got 20% off with that. So basically they came out to be with tax like $25 which I think is a steal. So here they are in all their glory. They're just a really good simple pair of dark wash denim. They have a little bit of whiskering going on in the front but nothing too crazy. And I feel like they're different enough from the loft ones, you know, wash wise and really like style wise where I could justify having both. And then again, I really like the simple pockets. So really happy I got those. Surprisingly enough, Hollister was a win. Okay, moving on to store number five. I wasn't sure how this one was going to go, but it was there and I was like, you know, maybe I'll be surprised. I went into the J. Crew, and you know, when you think J. Crew, or at least when I think J. Crew, I think more like chino shorts, but I decided let's just try it out anyways. Let's see, who knows? And they did have two pairs of tandem shorts one that was more of like a standard, and the one that had a little bit more style to it. First of all, these were both very expensive pairs of jeans. They both retailed for $79.50, and they were not on sale, so kind of pricey um, and the first pair I tried on were way tight and these definitely out of all the pairs I've tried on previously felt the most like denim. They had a little bit of stretch but nothing like the American Eagle, the Hollister, the Loft, nothing like those. Just like a teeny tiny bit. Um, so it definitely wasn't comfortable. It was definitely giving me flashbacks to way back when and I was not a fan. And then the other pair I tried on that was more stylish, that was a little bit more of a light wash, longer inseam, and had buttons instead of a zipper. These I was skeptical of because of the light wash and because of the buttons, but they had a hang tag on them that said that it was made with this special, not special, but this, you know, pocket smoothing technology that will be more flattering in the tummy area. So I thought, you know, that could be good. Let's try it. Mm -mm. No, uh, they were definitely too small for sure. I probably could have gone two sizes up realistically because the buttons were like puckering so bad. And then also it was just not my style, not my look. It was doing nothing for the behind. No. So J. Crew was a bust. Moving on to the next store, I decided to go to Nordstrom, and I tried on two different brands of Nordstrom. So this is going to be six and seven, so we tried on a pair of Levi shorts and then a pair of Madewell shorts. So let's start with the Levi's. I decided to try on Levi's because I saw another video where they were trying on jeans, and the Levi's looked so good on this girl. The pockets just really flattered the booty, so I decided to give it a shot. Now, they didn't have good sizing here either. They had a 28, and that was like the only size. I figured it would be a little snug but I was wrong. This was way snug. Like I couldn't even get past the second button. That's how snug it was. I probably could have gone legit two three sizes up because it was that small and then these were like real denim. There was no stretch. There was no give. I mean, they were cute. They were, actually remind me a lot of the American Eagle ones with the high distressing, but these were a little bit more short, I think, and then they were just like so tight. Oh my god. So those were a big bust. Not to mention they were a little pricier. They were $69, so kind of a lot. Not worth it to me. And then the other brand we tried was Madewell, and I was excited to try on Madewell because people love their denim. And I don't think I've ever tried Madewell denim before. So I tried on these shorts that look like, you know, other shorts I've been trying on today. More of a medium wash with the little cuff. And for some reason, I grabbed the 28 and 29. And the 28 was way too small, as assumed. So then I put on the 29, and they were also, like, muffin top and hard. And these had a little bit more stretch than the Levi's, but... Not by much. They were definitely a true denim. I really wanted to like these, but I do think that they would have been flattering if they were the, you know, correct size, but they didn't have a bigger size, so it wasn't an option. And then these are also a little bit pricier. They're $69 as well, but they do feel like good construction, and I think they'd last a long time, but yeah, they just didn't fit. And finally, the last store I went to, Lucky Number 8, 
the Holy Land Target. Went to Target. Obviously, we have to go to Target. And I tried on a pair of their, what did you call them? Good American. American Threads? Is that what it's called? That brand that they have. And they had an okay selection of shorts. They still have like a lot of denim pants, which I thought was interesting because it's kind of hot. But they did have a good selection. It was a little messy. Um, I ended up grabbing a pair of size 8s and a dark wash cuff denim like I've been trying before. And then I thought I got the same pair in a size 10 but alas they were a little different they had a little bit longer of an end seam but it's okay and the size 8s were a little snug again I think I could have gotten away with it and they would have loosened up after a little bit of you know wear but it wasn't you know, necessarily the most comfortable thing and then when I went ahead and tried on the size 10 so those were definitely way more comfortable so I would say to size up um, I just wish that they had the same end seam because I thought they were a little long for me even though they would have helped with chub rub so pros cons oh another pro is these were definitely the most affordable by far the price on these is $16.99 and they were doing a promotion where it was like buy one get one half off so there you go oh and they also had pretty good variety color wise too so if you're into denim shorts but like a colored denim Target has your back. So overall, what did I learn from this denim short experience? I've learned that it's not as scary as I thought it was going to be. Companies have added a ton of stretch into their denim, which makes it so, so, so much more comfy. And you can definitely find certain stores with a lot of variety. So if you are into high distress shorts, if you're into pattern shorts, if you're into a longer short, a shorter short, a shorter with a cuff, some with more whiskering or something, they have that and more. It's amazing how much variety you can have in a denim short. So that was a pleasant surprise. And then I also learned that a lot of the stores are fairly true to size. I think it really just depends on how much stretch they have. It makes them a little bit more versatile versus like the true denim, like the Levi's and the Madewell, where it was definitely a little bit more snug. And I gotta say, as much as I was not expecting this to be the outcome, Hollister is probably my favorite. I know. I know. I really love the pair I got. Granted, I did have to size up. They're so comfy. I got the high rise advanced stretch and it's just good stuff, man. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. And then Express. If that pair was on sale for like 40% off or something like I feel like they do, I probably would have picked those up too because those are also very, very comfortable. So yeah, overall, this was a surprising little experiment with a good outcome, I think. I mean, I got two pairs of shorts that I'm both happy with and comfortable with, and I now know that denim shorts aren't as scary as they used to be. So I guess it's the lesson of the day, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you wanna see other videos like this, if there's other things you want me to try, if there's stores you'd like me to go to, and you know, see what we think. I definitely had fun with this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and thank you guys for spending some time with me today, but that is everything, and I will see you guys next time.